Hi, I'm Kay Lance Gould. I'm the lead physician scientist for the Century Health Project. And this is my wife, Nina. This project is designed to help people stay healthy, what to eat, how to work out, and it also provides intense medical management for those that need it. Okay, first stop, partial breakfast is a, a, a lean cereal with a lot of protein, a lot of fiber, and we eat a modest amount, not a big bowl. We sprinkle it on cottage cheese or yogurt and blueberries and strawberries. So some cereal is good. Too much is too much carbs. Next stop for breakfast is cottage cheese. It's very high protein. In this case, it's uh, close to 14 grams of protein, some low fat, uh, not much carbs. And so this is what we eat with uh, the cereal. And so it gives us a high protein, fills us up. The next stop for breakfast is uh, yogurt. It's a high protein Greek style yogurt, zero fat. And we find if we mix it up with the cottage cheese, a little bit of sprinkling of cereal, and blueberries and strawberries, and if you like it sweet, a little bit of Splenda. If you like it not so sweet, you can put in sliced tomatoes. Egg beaters are real eggs, egg whites. It's very no cholesterol, very high protein. These kind of egg whites have the highest protein of any food that we eat with the lowest fat, the lowest cholesterol. So this is a good alternative to the dairy products, yogurt, cottage cheese. Okay, the other part of the day is uh, fat-free skim milk, organic. And I don't drink a lot, but it goes well, say half coffee, half water. It goes on cereal. And at night, if you're kind of a little bit wide awake, a little half a cup of milk helps you sleep better. We eat lots of fruit. Blueberries are great with cottage cheese and also the yogurt. Mixed up with a little bit of cereal, a little bit of Splenda. Also grapes, apples. We try to avoid too many bananas because they're high starch, but the, the low sugar fruits are a great source of our, uh, our food, fun to eat. This is now lunch, step two. Uh, something quick, something simple. These are mozzarella string cheese sticks. It's especially low fat. They're high protein, low fat, easy to eat. So my lunch is an apple and three cheese sticks or you can have it a snack during the day. Good source of protein. Now, we eat some meat. One can be vegetarian, but the meat that we eat is usually extra lean, and particularly extra lean pork loins, uh, sliced turkey, are high protein foods, very low in fat, and one can eat more meat and be safe if you have these kind of cuts or you can stick with more dairy products. Extra lean beef is okay as long as it's not in excess. Another extra lean meat that's pretty healthy is real lean prosciutto. And one of our favorites is to wrap this around the cheese stick. So you have a really exceptionally high protein, kills your appetite, low fat, low carbs. So this is another really good protein source. We eat all kinds of vegetables. One of our favorites is tomatoes. So we're going to start here and then we'll also get some cauliflower, carrots, and my wife will explain to you how to grill these vegetables in a really delicious way that's quick, fast, and really tastes good. Cauliflower is one of our favorite vegetables. I chop it in small pieces and ro roast them in a 450 degree stove with a tiny little bit of olive oil sprinkled over it and a little bit of salt. Great meal. That is really addictive. I eat the whole thing. Snacks will show you something healthy. It's called Skinny Cow. It's an ice cream. But it's really low fat. It's got very low calories. So not for breakfast. And it has real portion control because it's a little bit on a stick. So you can't overdo it. People love nuts. How much should you eat? So we're going to get some nuts as part of the snack, but the secret is not too much. So 
check out time for the Century Health Project. We just showed you some shopping, so what are the secrets? It's high protein, low carbs to control calories and weight, and a modest amount of fat. So for breakfast, that means like egg beaters or some protein food, or cottage cheese or yogurt with some berries, and then maybe some Splenda if you like it sweet. For lunch, some low-fat cheese, low-fat meats, some vegetables, a little bit of fruit or apples, and the same for supper, maybe cooked grill vegetables, but it's vegetables, chicken, fish, or turkey, some fruit, and a modest amount of carbs control your calories. Control your weight, shop careful, stay healthy. Join Century and we'll show you how to do it. Thanks very much.